things, Kara, and last year you're responsible for it now. Uh, so I understand you had some concerns about that that had been recently, uh, which is still going through processing, is not available in your account yet. Is that correct? I, I believe that's what she told you, didn't she? Yeah, I'm just recapping that's correct information. Alrighty. Okay, so. Hello. So, what are your questions for me? <laughs> So you guys, you, I've been there, you know, screaming at her and explaining to her that this is fraud and embezzlement on the behalf of uh, Wells Fargo taking our money, the Department of Treasury put it in hold for three days, and then lend it overseas, make billions of dollars from the American refugees, and they get us trapped, and telling me, oh, no, well, uh, only 400 hours available and this and that. This is my my food money, my medical expenses money, my rent money, and it's from the F. I'm sorry, from the Department of Treasury, U.S. government. Why the bank no, is yeah. Why the bank is holding the money? It's a good question, Mr. Bond, and I'm happy to address those questions for you. I know it's upsetting to see you this year. It is not upsetting. Wait a minute, it's fraud, ma'am. It's crimes. Don't tell me. Don't, please don't sweet talk me and don't let me raise my voice up at you because you work there. So please try to. If if you can get me with a manager, get my goddamn money in there, or just let's cut the chase. Wells Fargo is committing fraud and embezzlement in the Department of Treasury money, in our money, Social Security money. Do you understand me? Uh -huh. So respectfully, Mr. Shabon, I, I disagree, but if, I mean, if you'd like me to explain the process to you, I'd be happy No, no, I don't, uh, what process are you going to explain to me, ma'am? Department of Treasury, hold on a second. Department of Treasury issue this money from the Social Security Administration for us because we invested, we pay millions of dollars, and the banks embezzling that money. All right, and put it on hold. Do you understand me? Mom, if you want to document your concerns, I am also happy to get you in contact with our customer care team. I do not have the ability to make funds available to you more immediately than the time frame. Well, you, you are, ma'am, you are videotaped and recorded, and it's gonna go to the Department of uh, Injustice. It's gonna go to the U.S. Department of Treasury, and it's gonna go everywhere because you guys, not you personally. Wells Fargo and all the banks are committing crimes against everyone and everything. And it's not news no more. So please again, stop, you know, you are committing the crimes for, for corporate America. You understand me? Telling me, oh, well, you got uh, this and that. It's Department of Treasury. It's our money. It's not Wells Fargo to go and lend it overseas and make billions of dollars and fraud us out of our social security. Huh? So, we do not have the money in our possession yet, so we're not holding funds that we have. We are simply still trying to get access to the money at this stage. Why do you get, get access to what, ma'am? It's the Department of Treasury. Ma'am, it's U.S. Department of Treasury. It's our money for our food and our health. I'm a disabled. God damn it. What money? What access of what? It's the Department of Treasury. It's a USA. Department of Treasury that owns everyone. It's a it's bosley. <laughs> you guys are baffling. Not right now, and I'm very sorry for your inconvenience. I can't provide an explanation for you if you would like. Uh, so, but no, but you're trying to con me and, and, and basil and commit fraud. Telling me, oh, well, we're, we're making a valuable. Making what a valuable is a, a father of government. It's our money. It's not yours or bank, you know, Wells Fargo or any other bank. Corporate America committing crimes and embezzlement and fraud. They're stealing people's social security and they're having fake accounts. You guys are smoking. God damn it. Where, where you are living? What planet are you living in? Are you probably from the Philippines or some? You got no clue. I'm not. I'm in Virginia. Huh? I'm in Virginia. What's that? I'm in Virginia. 
in Virginia, oh, well, good for you. So you, you do that to your father and your grandma and your, all the, the people that they are. Not you personally, I'm sorry. It's not you. It's, it's the banks that they committing crimes, corporate America. And they're thinking that they are earning it against the American refugees and telling them, oh, here, guys, uh, we're on you. God damn it. I'm sorry, but it's not you. Sorry. All right? So I, I just wanted to record you that. I don't know why the Department of Injustice is still asking me who did what and when, Mr. Shaban. I'm very concerned. We're very concerned, Mr. Shaban. Harassing me, kill my son and kill my wife and kidnap my children because I've been bringing it to their attention. What the? It's making me sick. Seriously. And banks, do you think? Bank, banks? It's not that I'm feeling, man. It's a, it's a facts of life. What do you mean a feeling? It is facts of life. It's life events. I lived through it. So when you tell me, oh, I'm sorry, that's the way it felt. A feel of what? It's life events. It's crimes that have been committed by the, the state government, the federal government. Well, the federal government has been complacent and turning things around because they are inheriting everything. Right? And corporate America. Corporate America actually in charge. And telling me, oh, well, well, well really, uh, you know, very, very sorry. Come and uh, sorry for what? I, I need, I need my life, the hood, and millions of others. That the that the guy that corporate America is committing crimes, and the federal government is giving them protection to continue to commit the crimes against everyone and everything. You understand that? And and. I uh, do you have any additional questions that I can address for you today? Uh, it's not question. I want to get my money, ma'am. I want to get my money. That Wells Fargo is embezzling. And I stated that Siobhan regrettably had no more uh, ability to uh, make the money available. Why? Why? Because, uh, why? Because Bank of uh, Wells Fargo is telling you to commit crimes and embezzlement? Put people no. to sleep? That's crimes, ma'am. That's taking federal subsidies from the Department of Federal Department of Treasury, our livelihood, and hold it. I tell you, oh, well, we got to get the money. Get the money from where, man? You lending the money, Wells Fargo lending the money overseas for three days, making billions of dollars out of the you poor souls. The on the huh? What's that? Ma'am, ma'am, it's a Department of Treasury for Christ's sake. What are you talking about? What kind, what kind of hashish you smoking? Sir, yes. Because I'm not able to explain myself, um, and there's evidently, I think you understand that I have no ability to make funds available to you more immediately. And I will offer you again the opportunity to document your concerns with our customer care team. Otherwise, do you have any additional questions or concerns that I can be assistance with today? Yeah, they paying you to commit crimes. Yeah, ma'am, transfer me to the whatever. All right, I'll be happy to do so. Allow me just a second. Please. Thank, I'll you. And Thank you. Thank you. Introduce you momentarily. Thank you. I'm sorry. The Department of Injustice and the Department of whatever, they know everything. They know that this is crimes. And they're still harassing everyone. They have no power over this criminal. The criminal fraud. And Wells Fargo has been using my account online. The one that... Uh, Masoud, uh, 
National Fire Suppression, whatever. Lucentia Police Department in City of Lucentia. Been using my online fake account, as they say. And they still, they still, they smoke on the bed, I see. I'm telling you, oh, well, 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 all the states are committing crimes and embezzlement. I tell you because that's the way you have to live. I'm very concerned, Mr. Shibon. Husband Allah and Amir Waki. Husband Allah and Amir Waki. They hijack your life, they hijack your children, they drug them. They rape them and they have them accounts. They've been doing this for, for hundreds of years. Alright? And then they ask me a very concerning, Mr. Shalom. Ices and mices and vices. That's been a long time with you. And that's facts. And the stupid federal world, the Sahineya, the Zionist International Terrorist Organization, represented in this country, they, have no, uh, they, they, they tell you that's it. You go down and say, what do, you, what do you expect of this scum of the earth that they kill? Good messengers. Mr. Shabon? Yeah. Just checking in with you to let you know I'm still on hold for my customer care team. But as soon as I have someone, I'll be back to introduce you, okay? Oh, yeah. Very good. Thank you. I don't know why. Twenty-five minutes. And I have many calls like this since 2013. See how I just went down the street. That's Sahina Al Anamiya. Sahina Al Anamiya. How to look at India. But they think it's a bit early. All banks. All banks. All government. State government. They are the ones they fraud. They are the ones who steal social security numbers. EIN number. There is no nothing mean nothing in this country. Okay? I have birth certificate, yet I'm not with, uh, I, I can't see my children. I can't even talk to them. After they. Yes. The land of unfree. Points. Points. And as I've been saying, the only thing that's good for you and you recognize and understand is safe. Be safe, you stupid scum of the earth. Alright? You come in if you want and bring it on, you faggots. That's been a long time in the That's been a long time in the I don't want to be losing my feet. Why you want to? Hold on a second, ma'am. Do you know why I'm calling? 
Because I, I don't want to get do. I don't want to get jerked around and wasting my time and get bent out of shape and raise my voice at you, offend you, because I I am tired. Seriously, I am baffled what this government and doing to people, committing crimes and embezzlement, and telling us, well, we we know how you feel, Mr. Shaban. We we know uh, really. You got no idea. So where is my Department of Treasury money? Social Security that is supposed to be going for, it's our money. I don't have anything to, to explain what I spend it on. And when right, the but it has to go through processing. Wait, what's that? It has to go through processing. The check was but, just deposited yesterday, and it won't post until tomorrow's business day. What, what, hold on a second, ma'am. Uh, uh, just uh, bear with me, please, because maybe I'm crazy or I'm stupid. All right? This money is my social security disability coming right from the Department of Treasury. I used to get it on a, a direct express every midnight on the second. If the second fall on a weekend, I get it before, you know? That's the way it is. I decided because I'm visiting with my children because they've been frauded and drugged and everything else by the government, the state. All right? So I came here to visit with them and, you know, do you understand? Now, I am renting a car. I have paid my rent. I give them a check because I know that this money will be on the third, on the second at midnight. Do you understand me? But this time I got the check here. Why? Because I wasn't home. And I didn't want it direct express because they were committing crimes anyway. Embezzlement and fraud. And then I went to the bank and the door was open. I went in. To cash the check and then deposit it. You follow me? And then they told me, no, yeah, go outside. Uh, we, we close. I said, ma'am, I, I got here. Oh, no, we close. I, and you can't tell them anything. They will cause security, especially if Muhammad Shiban. They harass Muhammad Shiban because I'm an activist and I'm from the Middle East and I'm a Muslim and they're committing crimes. Against millions of American refugees. So why was Fargo have to hold this money for 48 hours, lend it overseas, make billions of dollars out of our livelihood that is coming straight from the Department of Treasury? You gotta explain that to me, ma'am. And I, I'm, I'm not offending you. All right? But this is, uh, uh, you, you got no idea when you say, oh, well, we, we understand where you are, but why you're upset, and you understand this, you understand. For me, it's a life experience, man. I witnessed that happening to thousands of people everywhere, every state. Okay? It is crime. It's embezzlement. It's fraud. And they think that they have the right to do that. That's, that's the bad thing about it. That they think, corporate America think that they own everyone and everything. And have you poor souls do the crimes for them over the phone. Do you understand me, ma'am? And that's all I got. I know that you got no power. You're not going to be able to do anything. I am traveling now. I have to wait here because I can't get in the road and run out of gas. All right? Driving 2,000 miles back home after I visited with my daughter. You know what I mean? I can't get food. I can't get medicine. I'm sick. I got the, you know, the cough and everything. So unbelievable. Unbelievable. And that's my money. I pay, I give them a, a check. They probably deposit there and the bank is going to bounce it for my rent. And you're telling me, oh, you're all very nice. I'm telling me, oh, well, I understand how you feel, Mr. Shiban. How you, how I feel? Are you, have you ever been in that situation? With yourself or your parents or your elderly or, or people in the streets everywhere that this government is committing crimes? Corporate America, actually, because there is no such thing. The Zionist terrorist organization is committing the crimes. 
against everyone and everything and telling them, oh, wow, we, we're very concerned. Sending the FBI harassing people and killing my son and killing my wife and kidnapping my children. You guys are making me sick. Not you, ma'am. I'm sorry. Not you. Where is, where is my social security money? Why is helped? Why the bank is holding this money and uh, tell me? Or maybe I'm crazy. Our process and oh, well, we got to make sure that this money is good. It's from the goddamn Department of Treasury, US, the owner of uh, supposedly. And I know the Federal Reserve is owned by these criminals. The government has no power over anyone or anything. All right, man, I'm done. Go ahead. And I'm sorry if I, well, if I offended you. So, the check was deposited in the ATM. Since it was deposited in the ATM, it's actually going to process the next business day, which would be tomorrow's business day. So, the check will be available on Tuesday morning after 8 o'clock, your standard time zone, just because it was a paper check and it was <laughs> deposited in a different form. If it's direct deposit, that's a guarantee that the funds are going to be in the account on a designated date. If there's a paper check, you have... Ma'am, that's the, the, uh, the receipt I got. It has the check. It's the Department of Treasury. It's like cash. Look at it, ma'am. Do you have a copy of it? I'm not going to look at it, sir. So I can document a complaint for you, but I'm, I'm just letting you know what Wells Fargo policy... Uh, yeah, the so Wells Fargo policy... Wells Fargo... Wells Fargo policy and all of the other bank committing crimes and embezzlement and fraud. All right, sir. So that's not relevant to what we're speaking of currently, but I can... I know, it is not re relevant. Time. That's why I'm calling, ma'am. I'm calling to let Wells Fargo know that they committed crimes and embezzlement and fraud. And telling right, us sir. we have to make sure that uh, this is paper check and it is in... Uh, that's why she told me to go out. I went to the bank and I was inside the bank legally before they closed. And she told me, no, no, you got to go on because they wanted to do that. Getting the, lending the money overseas. What you talking about, ma'am? All right, file a okay. complaint. Can you document the complaint and give me a number? Complaint. I don't know why I'm doing this because the Department of Injustice is still telling me uh, who did what and when. And we're very concerned, Mr. Chabon. We're very concerned. You bring it to our attention. We're very concerned. Unbelievable. Yeah. Can you document uh, an, uh, uh, a complaint, ma'am? Okay. And give me a number. So I'll document the complaint. Is there anything else I can assist with today? Do you have a number for a com complaint or a case number or whatever? Yeah, place you on, okay. Let me place you on just a brief hold. All righty.
What's the number? Three six eight zero seven five six. And this is for with what with the customer? This is the case number that you were requesting. So all of our complaints are logged here at Wells Fargo, okay. and they go straight um, to our CFPB department. So they're they're going to be looked at by that. So it's not that your voice is unheard. It is. Looked at. And these calls are recorded, right? 
all of our calls are recorded or monitored. Very good, ma'am. Thank you. Appreciate it. And again, for the last thing I want to say, I didn't need to offend you. It's not you. And uh, have a good day. You too. Thank you so much for calling Wells Fargo. All right. Bye now. Okay. It was 30 some minutes. No. I started 14, 15 minutes. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Call. And you heard everything. This is a number. And I have many numbers. The Department of Injustice and the Department of the Department. Cause. Now uh, we add it. Social Security numbers, birth certificate, certificate of citizenship, passport. This is all federal. It just it's mean nothing. Means nothing. Okay. The state's selling everything. They're taking that number and they're telling you, oh, we're concerned about your privacy. They're concerned about their investments because you are theirs. They own you, your account. And they're going to continue to commit the fraud as long as the federal government being hijacked, the Federal Reserve and everything else. Right? This is Sahine al alamiya You got to recognize that. Those are Catholic and MBA. Akili Ribbon. Everything. Prostitution. Drugging. Everything from A to Z. And everyone knows it. And there is no government that has the audacity or the balls to stand up for these criminals. Because it's Deen Allah. It's Deen Allah. The only way to deal with these criminals is safe. There is no negotiation. There is no treaty. There is no... Excuse me. <coughs> None of the above. It's safe. Those are Qatar and Biyat. نَقِدِي أَحَدُ اللَّهِ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى أَخُودُ اللَّهِ Alrighty then. This is for the Department of Injustice and all of the other departments or all the criminals in the Black House and everywhere else. Those are gay fellas. قَوْمُ الْوُطْ and they act like they earn it. And nothing is going to stop them except the safe. Ummati Muhammad. You got to recognize that. For this F government, they have to recognize that they know that. They know that. This government, the Sahina al they know that exactly. You got the punks. You got it, faggots? I, I ain't worried about any of this. Wallahi, I'm not. Because your end is soon. Your end is soon, punks. You're weak. You're weak. You can't withstand. You love this life. And we love Shahada. You cowards, and you greedy, and you have no dignity, you have nothing. And this is what, how you've been decreed upon. It's not some that you, you, you know, have a choice, you punks. The Abadat is shaitan. Come anything you want. Oh, well, it hits us for our freedom. Oh, yeah, you know, you just, uh, you know, apps. He hates our, for our freedom. Freedom of what, you punks? You're not free. You are the most abused people on the planet.
by these criminals. By these criminals. You got a part? Alrighty then. This is for the F government. You call me anything you want and bring it on you, faggot. Right? Ummati Muhammad will live and die on and for La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Our Sabil, Jihad for Sabil Allah. We seek in the Shahada, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.